Hi guys, this is Jen. Okay, for those of you on the group, you've seen me post this obnoxiously colored file, but I wanted it to grab your attention. There's a lot of people out there selling these files that oh, just look like it takes forever for them to do, and they charge an arm and a leg for them. Well, they're not hard to do. They shouldn't be charging that much for them, but that's just my own opinion, and you know my opinion. It's, well, it's just an opinion. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make these. It is super simple. And we're going to be using sure cuts a lot. Okay, so let's come here to our basic shapes. That had the flower. Okay, here, let's bring this back up here. This had the flower um, background. Oops, the top part decided to disappear. So this has the flower. So let's go get the flower. I'm actually just going to completely do this new. So that erases everything. Okay, so we have this flower. So I'm going to take that out of the way. And I'm going to blow this up. The last one I made was four inches. We're going to do this one at three. Okay, and I'm going to bring up another one. And I always use this right here. When I do any measuring, any sizing, anything like this, I use this right here, without a doubt. Okay, so that one was three, so let's put this at two and a half. Okay, click off of it, then click on both of them. I have the two page, I click the middle ones, that aligns them. So I'm going to come up here to path and do back minus front or front minus back. All right, so that gives me that. Okay, so let's come up here to object, click on duplicate. Well, that leaves a space, so I need to come down here and decrease that space. Okay, let's move this. Let's do it to about five. Okay, so I know that's minus two. I'm going to make that one minus two and see what that gets us. Nope, has to be even more drastic. And maybe a smidge more. Yep, that looks good. Okay, we'll make it that way. All right, click OK. Since I can't see that bottom, I come up here to Edit, Select All. And I'm going to drag it up here and see what that gives me. Okay, that's pretty decent. Let me pull this out of the way. See if I can grab, nope. I'll grab this little corner here. My fingers will work. And I'm just going to size it to whatever. All right. So we see that they're all connected. Come up here to path and click union. And you might have to wait a little bit. I let my cursor hover over it. And that will tell me when it's all unioned together. And you want to do this so that when you cut it, it will all stay together. All right. So right there, it's all together. Let's check our preview. Hey, we're looking good. All right. And let's center this to the page, okay? I may want to make it smaller. You can make it whatever size you want now that you have all that done. So let's do the to page again. So this will be the very first layer of the mat or whatever you want to call it that you're going to make. Now, it's still highlighted. Come up here to effects, shadow layer. Now, you know, you understand that it doesn't matter with our uh, scan and cut what color we put here. The only reason that it's in, in a color is to help us see what is what. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is indicating the thickness of the cut of this second layer. Okay, the first one was 0.4. That's too thin. This one is 0.1. Four, zero. That looks pretty good. So I am going to click OK. And let it take 20 days to work. All right. So here's our top part. Here's our middle layer. OK. So I click off of that. Now we have to highlight it all again. Come up here to our effects shadow layer again.
what I want to do is I want to bump this up so that my third layer is completely closed and I'm thinking I see a couple little white dots okay and I really don't want that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add five so let's see and it's gray I don't care really what color it is let's pop these off and make sure click preview if any red stuff comes up there's holes nope so that looks good okay draw your little box around all those and go to the two page again and that settles everything right down for you so that's looking really good now you can make as many layers as you want to so you could keep on going with that but I think that's fine right there all right I'm liking that so now with our library of fonts I have artisan chosen I can come in here and I had happy birthday so let's write happy birthday again color does not matter but I recommend choosing a different color than what you have out here so it does not get lost all right so let's come up here let's choose a different color and I had green chosen the last time because it's a good contrasting color okay let's make that green and we're gonna blow it up a little bit okay and since these are not touching I do not have to union them but if this was a script font right now would be the time that you would union them okay so let's take this over here does that look like it's gonna be a good fit yeah that'll work okay so now we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna come up here shadow layer that looks really good so I'll click OK and again you can change the colors if you want to whatever it does not matter on our scan and cut because it's not going to cut in a color it's going to cut out whatever you have uh, paper down or vinyl whatever you want to do this out of oops I forgot I'm gonna have two layers see I forgot to highlight it all so you're flapping my lips gotta highlight it all and then come and do your shadow layer there we go okay let's do the two page and center everything and you see what happened there it went behind Oops. object arrange bring to front and we're gonna have to go in and grab these now so right down here object arrange bring to front object arrange bring to front okay so there they all are so that looks done to me so when you go to cut these however if you want all those layers to stay just like that what you're going to do is okay two yep you're going to come down here click that little box right here oh, I clicked off of it. so click this little box right here send to layer page two okay and now you are going to separate these okay so that you can actually cut each layer out of a different color of card okay if you want to put each one on a different page that is absolutely fine however you want to do it so if you want this on page two page three page four Okay, 
So we're going to send this one to page three. Send this one to page four. Okay, so now there's this one that you can make out of whatever color you want. You have the words, okay, but you still can send those to different pages if you don't feel comfortable doing it this way, okay. There's a color, and there's a color. Okay, this page is open, so if you wanted to send, let's say you wanted to keep this one here, you want to send this one to page 5. Okay, so then you can put a 6-inch by whatever sheet of paper here and a 6-inch by whatever sheet of paper here. That's great. Then you can put a full 12 here, a full 12 sheet of paper full 12 inch sheet of paper here and then a six inch sheet right here that is how you do it inch your cuts a lot for our scan and cut all right guys it's really really easy and it's actually a lot of fun to design these things and it's similar um, if you want to do it out of vinyl but what I recommend to people um, that do these out of vinyl is to actually cut uh, to trim it out so that you don't have all that excess bulk um, but in for but for cards it's actually um, visually uh, attractive to have a lot of bulk when you do it in paper to make it kind of stand out to use that foam um, use those little foam sticky pieces uh, to make it pop out okay if you guys have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook thanks guys